Now that we're done with the sides, we can move on to the back and we're gonna start off with our no guard all the way open and then slightly close the lever attacking that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we could go ahead and move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We are right on top of the occipital bone, so you want to make sure you spend more time here and detail as much as possible. Now that the line is soft enough, I'm moving on to my half guard and I'm using its lever to erase the line completely. Now that I'm done with our lower guards, I'm gonna move on to my two guard all the way open and create our fourth guideline. We're then gonna use the lever to soften up this line and get ready for the one and a half guard. We are right on top of the occipital bone, so you wanna make sure you're careful here. Now that the line is soft enough with our two guard, we're moving on to our one and a half guard and we're gonna use its lever and its corners to erase the line completely. Sometimes after using your one and a half guard, there's still a faint line, so switching over to your one guard all the way open and using its corners will definitely help. Moving on to our clipper of a comb, we're going to make sure we use our horizontal cuts to deep bulk and our vertical cuts to blend. It's also good to make sure that the hair is a little bit damp because it's easier to grab with the comb. It gives the hair a little bit of more weight. Now that we're done using our clipper of a comb, we could go ahead and deep open his hairline with the one guard all the way open and then go ahead and use our gold effects to start off in the middle, working our way to the sides, keeping the corners as natural as possible.
Moving on to our C cup, we're going to start off at the bottom and work our way to the top arch, keeping it as natural as possible and also using the corners of the blade. Here I'm adding some finishing duches and making sure I detail as much as possible. As you can see, now that we're done debulking the hairline, we can go ahead and move on to our gold effects and make them as crispy as possible. Don't forget not to press too hard with your trimmers because you could bite them with the teeth of the trimmer. Now that we're done lining them up, we're going to move on to the top and make sure that the hair is nice and saturated and then we're going to start off by making our guideline through the middle and working our way to the sides. The reason why you might not make sure the hair is nice and saturated is so that you can get the true length of the hair follicle because if the hair is nice and dry then it's going to curl and uh, be wavy and then you won't get the true length of the hair. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please give a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and drop a follow on my Instagram down below or go ahead and leave a super thanks. Thank you. Now that we're done with our shear work, we can move on to our Turkish razor and Derby Premium blades and make them as crispy as possible. But before we do that, we're going to apply some shade gel so that the razor could glide better. When you're using a razor, you want to make sure the screen is stretched out as much as possible with your opposite hand and also that you're keeping the blade at a 45 degree angle. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. 